So on the outside of the cells, we have um, what are called antigens. And these antigens are just, they're like, um, they sit on the outside of the cell and it lets your body know that those are, those are my cells versus those are foreign cells. So everybody, like, like everybody wearing the same shirt color is going to identify that you are with this particular group. So say your body cells all are holding up a green flag. So if a foreign cell comes in your body, say they have a red flag, then your body's gonna be able to recognize that they are not a part of your body. Um, so antibodies will recognize different antigens and then will attack accordingly. Um, so some pathogens can actually alter the surface of surface antigens, which is the antigenic variation. So this would be like, um, again, you have the green flags for your body and your little invader friend comes in and he has the red flag. He comes in and sees that the body is holding up green flags. So in order to mimic it, it too holds up a green flag instead of the red one. And then your body can't recognize that it's something that's foreign. So it's a way of uh, disguising itself um, so that your the host cell won't uh, fight it at all. So, um, so by the time that the uh, immune system is going to try to attack the particular pathogen, it's already changed colors again. And um, then your body's fighting against something that doesn't look like that anymore. So an example of that is the influenza virus. So this is the, the flu. Um, every year, um, we talk about different flu shots because the flu virus has actually changed itself from last year's flu virus. And so because it will change the surface antigens on its, on its uh, outside cell wall. So that's why you have to get a flu shot every single year because it can change the way it looks on the outside. So another way that the uh, micro can get inside is by actually penetrating the host cell. So microbes can again attach to the host cell via the adhesion. And sometimes when they attach themselves, it can um, trigger different effects that's going to alter the outside of the host cell. And when it does that, then the bacteria or whatever pathogen can actually enter the cell and start taking over. Um, so if you think about like somebody invading the Pentagon, so you have security guards that are all on the outside of the building guarding everything. When the microbe comes up to the, or a person is to come up to the, um, to the Pentagon in order to get inside, uh, they kind of uh, make a distraction um, so say they uh, they cause some big distraction on the outside, and so the security guards are kind of focused on what the distraction is doing while the person is actually getting into um, the Pentagon. If that makes any sense at all, I'm sorry. That's sort of a bad analogy, but you kind of get the gist. Uh, creating a distraction in order for the person who's trying to get in can get in. And so... Um, that's how some microbes can do it. So many vaccines, uh, most vaccines are gonna provide protection for years to come, and you only need one shot. Um, so like say the polio virus, um, you get those when you're a kid, the vaccines for it, and you never have to get that vaccine again. So why is it that the flu virus, or the flu vaccine, that you have to get it every year. So think again back to how 
the flu virus is one of those um, viruses that can change the way it looks on the outside. So um, if it changes the way it looks on the outside, your body's not going to recognize it. And so then um, you have to get a new vaccine so that your body can recognize that that's a bad guy. So that's, that's why the flu virus is given every single year. So we're going to stop there for today and we'll finish off the rest of this lecture um, tomorrow.